Hi guys, my name is Alex and I'm going to show you how to 3D design Thor's Hammer. It's very simple and if you like this class make sure you check out my uh, classes on activity here. You can sign up for uh, every Friday I have free classes, free trial classes to uh, check out. It's done on Zoom, you get to design things with your classmates and you get to choose your own design and I just kind of help you through it. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make Thor's hammer. So here's some pictures of Thor that I googled image. And we'll get started. So open up Tinkercad, of course. I'm going to drag a box. I'm going to kind of stretch it out. Now, if you notice, Thor's hammer it has some bevels right here. And to do that, it's actually easy, very easy in Tinkercad. I'm going to reduce the step count down to 1. Then I'm actually going to turn the radii up. And turn that silver so we can see that a little better. See, I immediately get the bevels just like that. Okay, very simple, very nice trick to do. Then the next thing is let's bring a cylinder in because at the top of Thor's hammers there's a little bit of a bump to it. And let's go ahead and kind of reduce the size. If you hold Shift, um, it will bring it. It will lower. It Fortunately, and then we'll move this down just ever so slightly. Let's add a little bit of a bevel right there as well. I think it's going to look pretty good. And we'll go ahead and group that together. Okay, let's bring another cylinder for the handle. Again, holding shift will make sure that it is going to be, uh, you know, brought down proportionally. It works in other programs, not just in this program. We'll go ahead and stretch this out. Let's make this let's see a brown color. I think that's going to look pretty good. All right, so we have Thor's hammer mostly complete. Now we have some decor, so I want to have a little bit of these silver bands around. Let's add that. So I'm going to put a ring. Again, holding shift and kind of shortening it down. And then we'll put that around the hammer. And then we'll make adjustments to the size, OK? So I'm going to turn this silver. I'm going to reduce the height. And we're going to kind of check the fit of it. I think it just I think it's going to look pretty good like that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to want to duplicate this. So I'm going to hit duplicate. I'm going to move this up a certain distance. Let's say four. Then the next step is I'm just going to hit duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Right here, this button right here to the top left hand corner, right next to the trash can. I think that's going to look pretty good. Awesome. So now I have yeah, pretty good decoration slot. Uh, exact, but we don't need to be exact. Let's, uh, let's do the handle, the end of it, hilt. I forget the exact uh, name, but uh, I'm sure someone remind me at some point. Let's go ahead and make this silver and then let's move this uh, let's move this all the way up and kind of size it back down and then let's add let's add some bevels to it. I think it's gonna look really good with bevels. We'll make it a little bit bigger if we have to. Again holding shift to make sure all the portions are the same and if we need to Make that bigger. There we go. That's a pretty good hilt, I think. And it's a little bit more depth. So we're not going to go too far into detail, but we can add some other decorations if we wanted to. Uh, we might not. And then we'll just add, let's just do a strap because there is typically a strap. Awesome. That's basically Thor's hammer. It's not too terribly complicated. That is Thor's hammer. Let's go back to our image and see what else. We can add We can add this hole if we wanted to. It's not necessary. We can also add that little decoration. So let's do that. I think if we do go to feature all and we'll check our shapes to the right. Let's see what kind of shapes we have. I think I like Hmm. I like a uh, trapezoid. I think a trapezoid will look really good. 
See if you can kind of see it, uh, it, it has a slight angle to it. That's why I'm not using just a, a normal square. But we'll go ahead and kind of make that shorter. We'll make this silver as well. And then we'll have it uh, try to position that as best we can. And we'll go ahead and shorten this and make this a lot smaller this way. And then we'll have it kind of stick out on this end right there. Just like that, having it stick out both ends, I think it's going to look pretty good. It's up to you guys. You can yeah, you guys can add some other decorations. If you wanted to add this hole, for example, uh, it's the same similar process, uh, except instead we're going to turn it into a hole. That's what that function is for. And then let's go ahead and rotate that. Let's just say 90 degrees. And let's make this a lot smaller. Having that inner, we'll go ahead and move that down to an appropriate location, and then we'll just say controls, uh, sh or sorry, uh, shift, select, group. We'll have a little hole right there as well. That looks pretty good. Awesome, that's it for uh, this video. You can add some more decorations if you need to, but I think it looks pretty good as is. Alright, remember to check out the intro class, and I'll see you guys on the next video.